thank you very much. Obviously, I didn't win, um, and nationally, the picture's not looking great, but we've booked the trend on the island. We are uh, over here, here and over the water, Stephen Morgan's in the same, so uh, I think the Labour Party needs to have a look at what it's like to run a really good campaign. So with that, uh, congratulations to Bob. Uh, you're normally looking forward to his island deal, he's promised you, now he's got a uh, slightly larger boat. You should be getting that very soon. But anyway, that's for another day. So thank you uh, to Clive and his team, and to all of you there that have done all this hard work tonight, and thank you to all of those that are at the polling booths in the shocking rain. Thank you to the police, wherever you are. Thank you. Um, thank you to Robert Jones, my agent. Thank you to uh, Julian and Paul and Josh for running an amazing campaign uh, and keeping me going through all this. Um, and to each and everybody that's been out there on the campaign trail really working hard. Everyone that's marched with us, delivered a leaflet, done something for us on social media. All of you have kept me going and kept me going really strong, so thank you very much. But l last and not least, the most amazing person I know, thanks to my wife, Lynn. To carry on the, the thank yous, um, thank you very much to all the candidates, it's been a great bunch to, to stand at all our, our hustings together and the staff that have been here. Thank you very much to my green team who have walked through horrendous weather. Um, 100 years since the last winter election, I, I don't think we're wanting another winter election anytime, anytime soon. And thank you very much, I must say, thank you very much to Liberal Democrats um, on the island and, and beyond. And they made a great sacrifice here um, to stand together with other parties. And I think that tells us a little bit about the future, the future of politics. Bob talked about putting the Isle of Wight on the map. And we certainly have as a Green Party and as, uh, as working together. Because the Isle of Wight Green Party is still one of the top Green Party results in the whole country. Um, within the top three or four, maybe even, even higher as the news goes through. And what this lesson has taught us about tonight, and the news is still coming in, as Richard says, is that we have an electoral system which will continually service Conservative governments unless we start to reform that electoral system. And it is absolutely essential that we do that, um, and we do that very clearly, and that the Labour Party take that forward. Otherwise, we're going to have a succession of Tory governments, and I don't think that's going to serve our country any good at all. And we certainly need much more green representation to get across the country the green representation and the climate change action that we deserve. Thank you. A lot of people will be wondering why us independents put ourselves forward. Mostly, we always lose our deposits, and I believe all three of us have tonight. But it really isn't about me this time with uh, this candidacy. It, it was about the island, about the fixed link. It's about the, the ferry company control that we are sub subservient to on the island. You know, if you control going backwards and forwards across the Solent, you control the county. And I don't think that's right. Um, they're unregulated companies, they can do exactly what they want. They don't want to put you on the ferry, they don't have to. And you can't complain to anybody to, you know, to, to complain about that. So I think competition needs to be the way forward. You can't regulate them, you can't subsidise them, you can't nationalise them. They are entities by themselves and they rule the island. The only way you can bring competition in is to put a radical 24-hour tunnel in, and I've been campaigning for the last five years to do that. It's very difficult to change things, but it's very easy to keep things as they are. It requires no effort to keep things as they are. So this is what this campaign, or this election campaign, has been about, to promote the fixed link, and um, I hope I've done that. Thank you so very much to everybody who voted for me in this campaign um, and to Clive and his wonderful team here and all the tellers. It's been a, a great campaign. It's been a learning experience for me and um, I said I would stand to put people, the island people first. I've tried to do that in whatever way I possibly could. I've certainly enjoyed this campaign. It's been amazing and thank you to all of you. Um, uh, to, well, 
for just being the people that you are. So thank you so much. I might be down, but I might also be back later. <laughs> I'd like to start by thanking Clive and his team and the police and everyone that's been running the polling stations today and um, all the candidates, all their teams. It's, it's been an interesting election. Uh, we're seeing the results coming in from across the country. And I think it, it points at something um, and it explains in part my result. I didn't intend to stand in this election as probably all of this lot are, is, is sick of hearing about. Um, but the Brexit Party stood down at the last minute. And we knew that we needed someone on that ballot paper that stood for real clean break Brexit. And that was the only reason I stood. And I'm proud to have been able to give those people that chance to vote for that today. Um, a lot of people across the country clearly have bought into Boris Johnson and his deal. I've read that deal. I've seen the legal opinions on it. And I think they will get buyer's regret later when the details come out. But that's for another day. Um, but I'd just like to finish by thanking everyone. This is the last speech probably of the evening. So everyone have a safe journey home. Thank you. <laughs>